Hello, Flossy friends. My name is Amy. Welcome to my channel, The Snow Canyon Stitcher. Well, it's not The Snow Canyon Stitcher, it's Snow Canyon Stitcher. Today is April the Wednesday, April the 3rd, and this is my floss tube number 46. Welcome back to my regular subscribers and welcome to anybody new visiting my channel. Uh, this is my channel about cross stitch where I share starts, finishes, uh, goals, plans, ideas, <laughs> all related to cross stitch. Sometimes I share uh, quilting and um, uh, embroidery, other types of needlework, um, but it's mostly about cross stitch. I hope everybody had a good holiday. Happy Easter to everyone. I didn't do a floss tube in March. I did one in February. Um, I'm hoping that I can get through this video. My uh, daughter is watching my son's dogs and they're upstairs with her. So they were running back and forth and you could hear um, you could hear them running back and forth. So hopefully I can get through this video without any really loud. If, if, if it does, I'll, I'll stop the video and, and redo it <laughs> or wait until it's over and then redo it. But um, <laughs> I didn't do a floss tube last month. Uh, I stitched on through the month and I um, today I was just like, well, today is the day I should do it. If I'm gonna do a floss tube, just to update everybody on my March stitching. So, um, plus there's some things I want to share. I actually have two new starts, um, two finishes, and a couple of FFOs that I want to share with you today. Uh, plus some just random stitching that I did, uh, other than my whip go. Um, yeah. So my light just went out. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, I'm back. So, <laughs> the minute I hit the start button, my light goes out and my husband texts me. So, <laughs> I ask him, I was like, I'm doing my floss tube. Can I get back with you? Um, okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started sharing everything. Um, and just uh, that way I'll be able to better see where I'm at and what I'm doing. So, <laughs> okay. So, to start probably should have made this a little bit easier to get to. Um, I had finished Sarah, I hope that doesn't fall on the floor, because if it does, that will not be good. Um, I had finished Sarah Jackson, um, and so I did have a frame um, and decided to put her in this frame, but it's the frame still, I don't know if I showed this or not. <laughs> Maybe I already showed it. <laughs> I think I did. Well, here it is again. <laughs> uh, anyway, she's in a frame. I, may have, I think I did show this in my last floss tube. <laughs> anyway, all right, so I'll just make a note. I did share Sarah Jackson, <laughs> but she she really turned out, sorry, I got a little hair or something. Um, she turned out well in this frame, and I just love it. I'm almost sure I remember now sharing it. But uh, she turned out really pretty. I was very, very proud of, proud of that finish um oh my goodness can I get this without making a huge huge mess this is a huge table too and I have just put this over here and there we go oh I just don't want to there we go so I had fin my I had finished my Mirabilia, and I decided to put her in the frame that I had my Newcastle bouquet in. So because I want to reframe my Newcastle bouquet, and I shared this on Instagram, so you may have already seen it, but she is in a frame now, and it it still needs some touch up too, but it's perfect for her, and I'm just really happy with it. I didn't do the beading at the top. I decided it just has like some confetti beading and I'm just, I'm happy without it. So that was a choice. I didn't forget to put those beads on, but I think she looks really pretty in this frame. I have her, 
mounted over my television in my stitchy room so I can see her all the time. <laughs> so that's an FFO. And then this one, this one I'm super proud of. This was actually a um, funny story. So my WIBGO uh, numbers for, I think I can put that away now. I don't need any more information on that. My WIBGO numbers for February um, were called and it was uh, 14 and one. So I was like, okay, great. I get to work on my Quaker Bluebird sampler because um, I had started it several times and just wasn't happy um, with the fabric choices and the thread choices because this is one of those you can choose your own colors. And, um, but I had eventually did find a fabric and color thread and I had started it. Um, but I put it away because I had started whip go and started adhering to working on my whip go. So when it came up that it was time to work on it from my whip go board, I was super excited. For some reason, I don't know why, I got my Quaker Bluebird sampler um, mixed up with my, um, what's it called? Uh, let's, my Bluebird Viscornu. <laughs> So the rule I made for myself in WIPGO is that whatever numbers are called for that month, each one of those would get eight days straight stitching, which I had found that by working on Antong. Uh, was it Antong? I think so. I had worked a long, long time on something. It was about eight days and I felt like I made a lot of progress, so I was like, I'm just gonna make that rule for my WIPGO. So, because I got them mixed up, I went ahead and started working on my Bluebird Viscornu, which I'm gonna share that with you. And um, after I had worked eight days on that, um, it dawned on me I was working on the wrong thing. <laughs> so I started working on my Quaker Bluebird sampler. It just happened to be exactly eight more days in the month. I was like, great. <laughs> well, actually the 29th of March is when uh, was the eight days, so. Um, I had started working on it uh, the 22nd and I worked on it till, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, and then I finished it on the 30th. So I just went ahead and worked that last day, nine days and finished it up. Um, and so I, uh, once I got it finished, I was super excited and I was, I've been contemplating making a frame for it because of the dimensions was really hard to find a frame for it because it was 16 and a half inches long and six and a half inches wide and there's I don't think there's a such frame that exists <laughs> so I was like okay well I'll just I'll attempt to make one and so I did and I got her all finished in, in a frame and here she is <laughs> and I am super super uh, happy with with it how it turned out I was using, I think it was uh, Verisois, uh, Sol Doche, um, 1471. I thought I had, no, it was 1746. And I ran out. <laughs> I ran out when I was about right here. Oh, and I think I have, I think I have a photo of where I was at when I started on it. So I'll show that here. And then um, I had ran out of my 1746 somewhere around here. I was like, okay, well, I need to order some more. And honestly, at that point, decided I'm okay with putting it aside and waiting till I get the floss. But then um, they were they were out of stock, and it was on back order. So I was like, no, I didn't want to wait that long. So I was like, hmm, I wonder if I could find a DMC. Um, I wonder if there's conversion uh, for that color in DMC. So I started doing research on the internet, couldn't find it anywhere. There's lots and lots of people that have um, salt Doche um, conversion to DMC, but in every one of those lists that I found, 1746 was nowhere to be found. 
But I did eventually find a floss that matched it perfectly. And it was, <laughs> uh, oh no. <laughs> uh, did I, oh my goodness. I did write down. Uh, oh geez. I thought I would remember it. I thought for sure I would remember it because I, I had worked with it for so long trying to find a color, but it, it, it was perfect. It matched it perfectly. Hmm, not good. Darn it, I wanted to share that number in case somebody else was trying to find. Here's the pattern. <laughs> it's a Willow Hill, Willow Hill Samplings um, pattern. It was a PDF and I got it from their Etsy shop. Oh, but I cannot believe I want to say 7.30. I'm almost sure. Well, I tell you what, I will put it up on the screen right here. But it, it is, is a perfect match for 17.46 Sol Dolce. You just, you can't tell. And you can see right in here where I was trying to match and this one was too light and then this one was too dark. And then I found the, the one, I, th I want to say 7.30. I'm almost sure it's 7.30. And I just stitched from there up in that color, and it turned out pretty. Now, one thing about the frame is, because you can see the grain, the grain is kind of like going up that way. When I hung it up on the wall, it's like, my frame is not square, but it is. <laughs> it just looks unsquare because of the grain. But I'm super, super happy with it. it turned out really good. Well. So those are my two FFOs. And um, I got that, I mean, just about completely stitched in that, in that nine days. Okay, what's next? Mm, I think I'm gonna share, I'm gonna share my, my WIPCO numbers that I worked on. Um, so Ann Tong was one, and I've got her on the bare bottom. And I'm stitching this on Cafe a lot. Let me just run this over it right quick. I did iron these before starting my video. And now my phone's gonna say that it's low on battery. <laughs> Can anything else happen? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay. So everything's plugged in now. <laughs> All right, so here is my one more little run over here. Get those little lint. And I may need my board, which is directly behind me. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't think this is going to be wide enough, but here is my Antong. So I was able to finish the border and I have a picture of where it was at when I started and I'll share that and this is where I'm at super happy with the, the whip go choices that I've you know doing the eight straight days because I can get so much accomplished and that's just a wrinkle right there Very, very pretty, very pretty. I can't wait to frame her. As a matter of fact, I have a place in my dining room on each side of my china cabinet um, that Anton and Isabella, I have that pattern too. I'm gonna stitch her, her sampler. Um, and it's just perfect on each side of that um, china cabinet that her and uh, her sister sampler can, can be displayed. <laughs> So that was number, um, what did I do in my Wipco chart? <laughs> I was so organized when I was ready to start my video. Um, she was number one um, for February, for March, <laughs> March Wipco. And I'm stitching this on uh, 40 count cafe a lot. 
uh, with all the call for uh, uh, silks. I'm not going to do the zipper. <laughs> I forget. That. Um, yeah, and so my Quaker Bluebird was the other whip go number, and I surprisingly finished that one and even got it framed. So the rest of the month I spent on, um, I worked on, okay, I had one, I think I only have two starts. So I'll, I'll go ahead and share. Actually, the other start I started in April. I think I started on April the, um, the second. So I only had one one start, new start in March. Oh, I do have another finish. I do have a, I have I have a finish that I forgot. That was two finishes. So another finish. I was able to finish. Um, well, this finish was in April. I actually finished this last night, so this would have been an April finish, but it's a finish nevertheless. <laughs> um, so I'll just go ahead and share it in this video. Um, this is Stitching uh, Lee Ever After by Barbara Anna Designs. And I think this is a, another piece of Cafe A Lot, which now you know why <laughs> my fabric was, um, I was scared that I was not going to have enough fabric because I had cut a piece off of it for this. <laughs> Lesson learned. But she's all finished. Um, I decided to do like a rose gold color for these scissors here. It calls for gold. I did these, these gold and I did these up here um, in the rose gold too. And I decided not to put the wording down at the bottom. And I stitched all of it in DMC. And I'm off in some places. It's not exact, um, but it's close enough. And she turned out really pretty. It's not a difficult pattern. It's just me. <laughs> Murphy's Law. Yep. I, for some, it's just me. Every pattern, it's for some reason, I managed to, yeah, get off of somehow or another like my Antong I was off on my border and had to adjust for that one which I can show it to you again you really can't tell it's fine it's gonna be fine but uh for whatever reason down here in this area of right here in this corner I didn't make that stem long enough. It should have went out more, but I may have decided to do that because I was running out of fabric. But either way, I, I, I managed to get the borders to match up and nothing's touching and everything's gonna be fine. So it's all good. I'm happy with it and I think it'll be fine. So that's, I'm gonna, my plans is to frame that one also, stitchingly ever after. Another one that I worked on in March, uh, was hoping to get it done by Easter, and that is This I Know by Plum Street Samplers. Do it without the glare. And, I'm not sure what I'm stitching this on. Forty count white tea, and I'm sure it's a Zweigart because I usually try to get Zweigart. And I'll show a photo of um, where I was at when I started and where it's at now. And let me tell you, there are a lot of leaves. <laughs> a lot of grass and a lot of leaves. But I love it. And 
I am so close to a finish. I can taste it. So I did. I worked on that one um, in March, cause like if you know two WIPCO numbers are called, I work on each one of those eight days. That's 16 days, and then I have the rest of the month to work on whatever I want to. So that was one that I chose to work on. But I didn't get it finished by Easter, which is fine. Um, I I do plan on finishing it since it's so close. But who knows? You know how that goes. You know, you, you think, oh, I'm going to work on this some more. Um, and then, yeah, something else comes along. <laughs> so, when I had got my patterns mixed up, I'll show you my other start, new start. Well, my, my new starts in a minute. I'm going to show you this one. <laughs> because I got my WIPCO number or charts mixed up, I had decided... Well, I was working on brown bird biscornu. I called it bluebird. It's not bluebird biscornu. It's brown bird biscornu. <laughs> bluebird, brown bird, <laughs> uh, which is probably why I got mixed up. Um, and I'll I'll share a photo of where I, it was at when I started. And then this is how far. It's gonna be so pretty. And this is just a white. Probably 40 count Zweigart. Yeah, it's Zweigart. It's got the orange. And that's where it's at. So I definitely, um, this is what the other side looks like. So I just have that to stitch and I'll be able to finish it. Pretty excited about that one because when I first saw that pattern, I've had this pattern for a couple years now. And I was like, oh, I, I want that. I want one of those. And I am stitching it on the call for stuff, the flosses. Okay, so where am I at? Starts? Did I have anything else I worked on besides? Nope, that's everything. There's my Wipco, <laughs> my Wipco um, board, which for April, uh, Stitchingly Ever After was one that was called, so, and I finished her last night. And then, um, but I'll show that in plans. So, the other, well, a new start that I had uh, in March, I did work on this in March, decided to start it. And that is Good Deeds by Brenda Gervais. And I am stitching this on, what am I stitching this on? Sorry, I'm not very, very prepared today. As prepared as I thought I was. Did I, I don't think I got the 36 count. I'm sorry, I'm not sure. I think it was just a random piece of fabric that I had in my stash left over from something else. But this is how much of a start I was able to get the border done. And what a border it is. Quite a border. And I think that that is the, the bulk of... Well, there's quite a few stitching in her dress, so... <laughs> so, yeah. I've got all the called for, just stitching it on all the call for, which they're not too bad. I try to, when I'm finished stitching at night, I try to, um, it looks like there's a few DMC in there. Um, I try to straight out my floss before I put it away. So, but that's where I'm at. That's my, that was a new start in March. That was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that, just that straight stitching. I don't, I don't mind it at all. Really, actually enjoy it. It's relaxing. So, um, March uh, is my birthday month, and um, I got, I got. Um, so I had a customer who um, had asked me to make on make her um, a certain size bag. And um, it was for her uh, omen, omenic frame. And 
and um, she had told me that she had gotten her frame from Lindy Stitches, which I have, I had planned on buying um, a frame uh, for quite some time, and there was one shop on Etsy that was in Turkey that had them. I was going to purchase from them, and also Fat Quarter Shop carries um, this type of frame. I don't think it's, I don't know if it's Omen it, but um, my, my customer had told me she had gotten hers from Lindy Stitches, which I, I bought my Lowry from Lindy Stitches. Um, but I didn't know that she was carrying Omenic frames, so I was like, okay. Um, and so, yeah, my husband, uh, he had asked me, you know, what, what do you want for your birthday? <laughs> and so I was like, well, I've been planning on buying this frame, and this is what I want. And so he purchased it for me. And uh, so a new start that I had uh, for March is... So I've I've been craving to start a full coverage for a long time. One of my favorite floss tubers is Teresa Little Stitcher, and I love just watching her uh, her floss tube and watching her work on her uh, full coverages. Um, but she also stitches other things too. So, um, but I've I've just I've always in the back of my mind wanted to start a full coverage pattern. Um, but I knew I didn't want to do something like huge, like heaven and earth design or anything like that for my first one. And uh, so I was like, um, I, I forget why it came up in conversation, uh, but um, you know, like Leonardo da Vinci paintings and all the, you know, Michelangelo and all of them. And I was like, oh my gosh, you know, I've always wanted a, um, a painting of Mona Lisa. So I purchased Mona Lisa pattern. There are lots and lots and lots of full coverage patterns um, for Mona Lisa. And this one was the only one that I found that you could clearly see everything down here because most of the other ones are really dark in here. It's just mostly black stitching. Um, and you, could, you can't really make out the hands as well as this one um, so and this one is only um, finished size is 9 by 14 and I think I figured it out to like 27,000 stitches so it's like perfect that's perfect and it's gonna be the Mona Lisa <laughs> so I um, had purchased the fabric and the floss and everything and I did get a start and I put her on my on my neck frame. <laughs> so here it is. And I, I had also purchased the stretcher bars, but I I just brought them with me to show you because if you can hear that. <laughs> I love this frame. <laughs> you definitely I, I mostly stitch in hand. Um, you know, but I think most people stitch full coverage in a frame. I just can't imagine stitching full coverage by <laughs> in hand, so. But super happy, super excited. It was it was a good birthday. <laughs> so I did get a start on that. Um, so the first day I worked on it, which I've never stitched full coverage, I'm using the parking method, but as you can tell, I watch a lot of people that work on full coverage because I'm just fascinated by it. So I'm using the parking method. I knew how to do that. I, I was ready to go. <laughs> so when I got my frame, I, I got my fabric through the mail from one, two, three stitch. This is 16 count. Um, <laughs> sorry, I can't remember what it was called. <sighs> sorry, I'll put it up on the screen. And then I just bought so let me show you, but yeah, that's how much I got done the first night. And I bought the wrong, I got my symbols mixed up. So um, the brown at the top is wrong. So I went to Joanne's this morning and got the correct color. But let me show you, um, I, I, I have some new patterns that I'm gonna share with you. And you'll, you can see the DMC list. So, the way it 
this is the pattern layout. So I started at number seven because I always like to start, start at the top left. Um, so that's that. That's how that works. And then, um, oh, here we go. It's 16 count shale from one, two, three. It's Ada, Ada fabric, but it's soft. It's really soft. Um, which it wouldn't matter on this frame. It's really easy to load because I tried out a piece of Ada on it <laughs> before I got my other fabric for this. But let me show you the DMC list. <laughs> so if I remember correctly, I think there's a total of 150 colors. And uh, I thought, well, you know, I'll just go over to DMC and I'll just buy all the colors. No, <laughs> I won't. So I, what I did is I just went to the page that I was going to start on. I looked at like the first uh, thousand stitches in the symbols, wrote them down, and just ordered those DMC colors. Because in my mind, I was thinking, you know, it's going to take me a while to stitch that. But... Honestly, the first night I got, I think I did 265 stitches. And that was like within, you know, a couple of hours that night. Because I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait till the next day after I got in the fabric and everything to start it. So, maybe. I, I just, I, I just did, oh, sorry about the zipper. I just didn't have the resources to purchase 150 skeins of DMC. And honestly, I, I don't. I think I would want to put somebody through that, having to pull 150 different DMC blossoms. So um, I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna purchase them gradually. Anyway, there's that. <laughs> that was kind of long-winded, but it was a great birthday present and and also we had we, our family had three birthdays in the month of March. My daughter's birthday. Um, and then my granddaughter's birthday is on my birthday, so um, it was it was a fun month, and I enjoyed everything I stitched on. I just had a lot of fun in March stitching. Um, if every month could be as fun as March was, then uh, and and honestly, didn't do much of anything else. Just stitched. I love it. I just totally enjoyed myself. Um, so yeah. That's everything. I, 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 I did go down a rabbit hole. Um, this is not cross stitch. Uh, so I don't know if I've shared it that I like to um, junk journal. Um, and so while I was exploring, it's kind of funny because for my birthday, I bought myself a whole bunch of Tim Holtz tools and stuff. And uh, after I got it, I just haven't done very much junk journaling, but it's kind of funny that that's how that works. Because I, I fell down a rabbit hole with something called long stitch. Yeah. So now I'm full force in that. As a matter of fact, I went to Joanne's this morning just to get some foundational fabrics. But I wanted to share uh, something that I was playing around with stitching on and long stitch. So basically, you just take fabric and you embroider around it, whatever, you can make landscapes. And <laughs> this is my first one. It's kind of, I don't know, I like it. It's fun. But I have, I've already got my fabric, foundation fabric ready for another one because now I feel like, you know, I know more about the color choices and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it just kind of fell down a rabbit hole. And uh, that's something else I was doing in March. <laughs> uh, there's uh, tr uh, Treasures to be Loved, or To Be Loved Treasures by Connie on YouTube. She is fascinating, long stitcher. Um, but I, in the future, I, I do plan to share some of my stuff that I, I work on, so. Um, it's just so much fun and it's just so beautiful. And um, I don't, I don't, I, I don't think that I like it more in cross stitching though. Mm -mm. Well, I love my cross stitching, <laughs> especially my full coverage. And I just can't wait to get started on it again. 
so um, that's pretty much it, I think. Is that everything? I've actually made notes. Yeah, I make notes and I don't go buy them. I think that's pretty much everything. Um, I just want to share just a few, a little bit of haul, some patterns. So when, when I got the Omenic frame from, sorry, fuzzy. When I got the Omenic frame, uh, Lindy Stitches had shared a free pattern with me, which is super sweet. And so I plan on stitching that one. And then I got my Fabric of the Month Club from Be Stitch Me, and this one is called Gold Rush. It's super pretty. I, I would take it out, but the bag rattles really. I, I actually don't mind the rattling in the bag. I actually like it, but I guess it's not something you want to do on video because it can be really loud, but isn't that pretty? It's just so pretty. And it's 36 count. I'm still loving that um, Fabric of the Month Club from her. Super awesome. Her colors are so pretty. So, a couple of other full coverage well, this one's not really full coverage. I don't know why, but I had the craving. I wanted to stitch a cupcake for Christmas. <laughs> so that I, I, why? I don't know why I want a cupcake, a Christmas cupcake hanging in my de decorations for Christmas. I don't know where that's coming from. I really don't. But I did find one. And I had gotten this from online Etsy. And I don't have the name of the shop. Oh, Maxi's Patterns. And this is it. And I wasn't paying attention to the size of it. Because I, in my mind, I was thinking more like, you know, five by five, just, just something small. This pattern um, is actually finished 17 by 17. <laughs> I don't need a cupcake that large. <laughs> Um, that's on 14 count. Honestly, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe if I did it on a higher count, but I don't know that I want to do that, that dense of stitching on anything smaller than a, I mean, that's 16 count. I don't know, but isn't it, it's, I just, I just love it. And this was the prettiest Christmas cupcake I could find cross stitch pattern. So if you guys know of any that are smaller than this that you think is pretty, would you please let me know? <laughs> Don't know why I want cupcakes, but mm -mm -mm. Christmas cupcake on the wall just seems perfect to me. <laughs> I love cupcakes too. <laughs> um, so another pattern that I purchased was I love this pattern. I want to start it so bad. But this one, I need to practice a little bit. And I think practicing on Mona Lisa will get me to this level. Steampunk Santa. Isn't he just adorable? I love it. He is, and I think did I get this one from the same pattern shop on Etsy? It's a PDF. I'm not seeing their name on the pattern anywhere. So. Yeah, I'm not seeing the name, of, but they're on Etsy and I'll, I'll share, I will, Put the link in the in the description but they have several different styles of this Santa this oh love it can't wait it can't wait I think that's everything guys that is everything I have shared everything it just seemed like there was so much more <laughs> I thoroughly enjoyed March I hope you did too. I hope you had a good March stitching. 
and um, yeah, that you have a good April stitching too. I whip those numbers were called for April, so I'll share what my idea is on stitching. Um, so my uh, stitching me ever after was called for April, which I finished her last night because I really didn't have that much left on it. Um, and hopefully, no, I, I I didn't have a before picture, but I did. I think I shared her in my um, my most recent um, whip parade, and uh, there just wasn't that much stitching left uh, on her, so I was able to finish her the night that I started on her. And then the other one that was called for um, April. <laughs> Sorry, the zipper is Midnight Watch by Blackbird Designs. So this is where it is at. And I'm doing this on 40 count. Yeah, um, what was the name of this fabric? I don't think it's the call for. No, it's one that I chose. I have a lot of this, so it's on 40 count, and that's, I got the bordered in. <laughs> and this, I, I did this, sorry, it's not iron, but I, I had started on this last year when I got the powder, and it was a new start. Um, it's, the called for fabric, the size is, oh, this design is by Barb Adams, stitched by Pat Ryan. The design size, finish size, oh, 30 count. Call for is 30 count, finish size is eight by 14. Um, so I'm doing it on 40 count, which will probably bring it down to, well, whatever size this is. Let's see what the size is. And which at first I was a little disappointed because that's one of the patterns Z. You kind of want it to be a larger size. Um, so do I want to start it over? Do I want to read? I, I don't mind redoing the bottom. It's 10 inch, a little over, well, it's about 10 and a quarter on 40 count. 10 and a quarter by five and a half. Yeah, so about almost four inches smaller. So maybe I will maybe I will redo this. Well, I'm almost sure I will I will restart it. I mean, this would be this will be fine. This would be cute. But I do I do want the larger size. And I'll probably hopefully I can find a um, 30 count in this fabric cuz I love this fabric. <laughs> I think just about all that I have is 40 count. So that's what I, I will be working on that in April. Um, I don't have one for lined up to replace my stitching ever after. So I will probably work on something that I've already worked on. Actually, you know what? I've I've been thinking I really need to work on what was the name of it? Let love was it Let Love Rain that I started last year? Yeah, by Tris Kogut, Let Love Rain. But that's that's in my Wipco chart, so maybe I should just leave it alone and um, just work on stuff that I already worked on. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows what will happen, but for sure I will be working on my Midnight Watch. And that would be cool if I could get that one done for this year to um, display. So thank you so much. I, I, I don't say it in every video how much I appreciate everybody who subscribes to my channel and who visits with me and all you wonderful ladies and that comment 
on each video and your encouragement, each floss tube. Thank you so much. I feel like you guys are family. Um, I think about you oftentimes when I'm stitching and hoping that you're doing well and that you're enjoying what you're stitching on. I, I, I really am trying to get better at posting on Instagram and sharing what I'm doing. Um, but it's, it's a work in progress. <laughs> so, but I do appreciate everybody. Everybody, thank you so much. Um, and um, I hope you have a good um, month of April and your stitching. And maybe I can get back sooner than a month. I think it's been a little over a month. Um, I just really had a good stitching month and all I wanted to do is stitch. So <laughs> there's that. But um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great April and um, that you take care, be safe, stay well. And um, I, I will talk to you in my next video. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, and uh, have a great day. <laughs> okay, thank you. See ya.